G'day guys, this is part 2 of the tank installation video. In this video I make up some brackets to relocate the front indicators. It is an extension of my previous video where I installed the Acebus 20 litre fuel tank, which can be found here, see the link on screen. Ok, so start by removing the front fairing by removing the three screws. Now undo the reusable tie that keeps the wiring together above the headlight. Find the indicator wires and connectors by tracing the wires back from the indicators. The connectors are squarish as shown in the video. While the indicators are still on the bike, loosen the nut on the back of the indicator. This will help with removal. Now undo the bolts that fix the indicator brackets to the steering column and remove. Now unplug the indicators. Now it's time to make up the bracket. Here is a sneak peek of what the bracket should look like before painting it. I had some 3mm by 25mm aluminium bar lying around so I used that. You should be able to pick this up from your local hardware store. I cut a piece off about 75mm long. You'll need two of these for the two brackets. In the video I only make one. I then marked up two lines across the bar, 25mm apart as shown, which will be used to bend the bar along. I bent it in a Z shape as shown to allow the indicators to sit outside of the front headlight fairing. This will require two 90 degree bends in the material. Clamp the aluminium bar in a vise with some cardboard or wood to protect it from damage from the vise. Locate it so one of the marks is in line with the top of the vise. Take a rubber or wooden mallet and hit it side on until it's a right angle. Take the bar out of the vise and set it up so it can be bent in the opposite direction to create the Z shape. Drill the holes out to match the bolts being used and the irregular holes on the ends of the indicators. Now round off the corners with a file and smooth off any sharper edges from the cutting the material. Once this is done, give it a few coats of black spray paint and let it dry before installing. Now reinstall the existing brackets to the bike. And now the new brackets to these. I use stainless steel 8mm bolts with Allen key heads and nylock nuts to stop them vibrating loose.
reinstall the indicators, tighten up the bolt and plug them back in. Put everything back together. The indicators should now not touch the tank when moving the handlebars. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Thanks.